I said, blessed be people, welcome back. You see me? Today, people, we're gonna talk about a very sad situation, you know what I mean? Which includes an artist that died at a very young age. You understand, people? And this artist that we're talking about, you know what I mean? A kid artist, his name is Stuart Nelson. You get me, people? And you know, he lost his life very, very tragically at a young age, you know what I mean, people? So, we're gonna look a bit into the very short but exciting life of Stuart Nelson. People, Stuart Emmanuel Nelson was born on Friday, May 5, in the year 1972, in Mandeville, Manchester. The name of his mother is Claire Clayton, and the name of his father is Robert Nelson. Stuart Nelson began his journey growing up in a community known as Leeds in the parish of St. Elizabeth. When it was time for Stuart to start school, his educational journey started at the Santa Cruz Prep School. You understand people, you know say, his parents wanted the best for him so they made the sacrifice and sent him to a good school where he would get the attention that they wanted him to get. You know what I mean people? Because they had great plans for his future. After he finished prep school, he attended Bethlehem Primary School, which is also located in St. Elizabeth. This was the school where he started to express his love for music as he started to take piano lessons at the school. Even though his name is Stuart, you know, he was called Stewie by his peers in school as also by members of his community. You know, Stuart, always love music and love to entertain others and i mean people he would always be singing stuart was a very active little young man in his community and he was loved by everyone he was always playing around and i mean people playing with other children of similar age group to him and even with adults you know what i mean nobody disrespected him because everybody loved stuart stuart's mother was a strong believer in the gospel you understand and they attended church in leeds saint elizabeth you know stuart had to be present at church every sunday with his mother and he used to sing in church as a matter of fact this is where his talent was confirmed you know what i mean people this is where he got the guy that you up now you are extra ordinary because he sang in front of an audience and he brought some of them to tears you understand people imagine this little little boy singing and have all these adults moving you get me as a people his music touched the heart of the people this was also when his mother acknowledged how good of an artist her little son was he was not just the type of kid who would go up and just sing like that you know what i mean people he had expression when he was singing his music you could see it in his facial expression as also the way he would move you understand people so he did not just stand up like a statue with a mic he was always in the groove with the music that he was singing and as such his music reached people even deeper because he had a personality that was basically second to none in 1983 stewart's mother migrated to live in america whilst stewart was still attending school in jamaica stewart was very very close to his mother so he was missing his mother so much that he composed the lyrics for the song titled i miss you you can listen as his mother recalls this moment in time that is very very precious to her i came to america and they missed me that much that he would and he got an assignment at school that time he was going to bethlehem primary school and he missed me so much that he um he wrote an, a composition about missing me. Yes. And I think um, Mr. Mills' son, Mr. Mills' son saw this in the recitation that I came here already and 
Then call and tell me that he wrote this recitation and he wanted him to record it. And he can sing and he told him, so yes, he can sing it. So that's how he was discovered. That was the voice of Stuart's mother. You understand, people. In 1983, Stuart entered a pop and variety competition. And this competition was a very popular competition back in that time. You know what I mean? The National Pop and Variety Competition. It is also a competition that was held annually to discover and highlight new and upcoming talents similar to nowadays you have magnum kings and queens and i mean rising star it's something similar to that from back in those days and this competition is basically to honor an individual by the name of veer and i mean this is an individual who used to assist a lot of jamaican entertainers from back in the days with their career you understand people this man was actually a white man who believed in the talent of Jamaican musicians. So people, in 1983 when Stuart entered this competition, he quickly became the favorite of the crowd. And the funniest thing people, it was with his own song. You know what I mean? The song he wrote for his mother because he missed her. You know what I mean? The song titled I Miss You. It brought tears to the eyes of a lot of people. This is all powerful. This young man at such a young age was with his music. On Monday, July 25th, 1983, the finals of the competition was held at the National Arena in Kingston, Jamaica. And the champions from the 14 parishes of Jamaica appeared on the show they would basically have a face off and as you know people Stuart Nelson was representing his parish of Saint Elizabeth this is the time now when Stuart really got the opportunity to show how good he was you know what I mean even though he know that he was good this is the time for reckoning this was the time to prove it you know what I mean people because the competition carried a cash reward of two thousand dollars Jamaican money back then which was a lot of money as also a scholarship so people when it was finally time for Stuart to come out and do his performance people as he entered the stage the place was in tantrum you get what I say people a lot of excitement and screaming and when Stuart eventually opened his mouth you know what I mean and started to go into the motions as he delivered his song I miss you, you know what I mean, showing how much he missed his mother, everybody could feel the emotion, you know what I mean, and feel that love and connection that he had for his mother, you get to me as a people, so you know, the crowd was going wild for Stewie, you get to me as a people, yeah man, Stuart did not disappoint the people, not even one bit, and people, you know when the crowd really got wild, when little Stuart went down on his knees at the end of the song you know what i mean the crowd was making so much noise and cheering for stuart you understand people you know it was obvious who the winner of the competition is dear and then baba brown who was the host for the show had no difficulty in selecting the winner of the competition and he had no hesitation when he declared Stuart Nelson the winner for the competition you know what I mean people it was such an electrifying moment inside the national arena Stuart Nelson was presented with his cash reward by the widow of Bob Marley Rita Marley so people even though there's a photograph showing Rita Marley and in money to Stuart, his mother in an interview with the Jamaica chapter made it clear that he did not receive any money people, you understand? And it is a very sad and depressing feeling to know that such a young man was being demotivated at such a young age knowing the level of talent that he had you understand people this is what his mother had said to the jamaica chapter they never said anything from that they stole everything the thousand dollars that they gave him they gave him for the contest 
Yes. They didn't give him nothing. Oh. And when my sister tried to find out what happened, they threatened her to kill her if she going to talk about it. Oh. Yeah. So, and then they used to take him to go to Kingston. He used to be with Bob Marley and the Bob Marley children there at that time. And he, you know, when I talk to him, he said, Mommy, I, I don't want to be with them. So people, the fact that Stuart won the competition, even though he was not given his reward for winning the competition, it cemented his position as an artist and secured a lot of booking for him even though he was a very very young child as his mother said he spent a lot of time around bob marley and bob marley's children however he was not happy whilst being around them you know what i mean as a little youth maybe he did miss his mother and want to be where she was it's also in the same year that stuart officially recorded the song titled I miss you. You know what I mean? And the producer on that song was Tommy Cowan. This song quickly became a hit both locally and overseas. People, you know, the strangest thing out of all of these people is the fact that even though Stuart Nelson was such a talented singer with a big hit song as a young man, when asked what he would like to be when he grew up, would you believe that Stuart said that he wanted to become a doctor, you know what I mean? And that surprised a lot of persons. In the year 1985, Stuart Nelson moved to live in Connecticut, USA with his mother. And you know people, this was like a dream come true for Stuart Nelson because remember you know, he had missed his mother so much and you know i mean people so he was basically back in his happy place whilst there he participated in a lot of church service as also whilst in Hartford, connecticut he attended sax middle school because he had he had already passed through junior high school you understand people so that was the level at which he was at that time in may of the year 1987 stuart's mother had a relative who had passed away in Jamaica and she decided that she was going to attend the funeral. However, Stuart was not able to accompany her to Jamaica because he had school during that time. Stuart was 15 years of age, you understand people, and when his mother was leaving, she gave him a hug. Little did she know that that was the last hug that she'll be getting from her son with life in his body. Stuart Nelson went on an end of year school trip whilst his mother was away because it is normal for when children are leaving middle school to go to high school, they would go on trips, you know what I mean people? And Stuart Nelson was supposed to enter a very big competition, you know what I mean people, shortly after that trip. Stuart Nelson never got a chance to enter that competition you understand people as he lost his life whilst on the school trip in a swimming pool you understand people you know nobody is sure how it happened but stuart nelson drowned you understand people in a swimming pool he was seen in the pool by others and people you know one of the spookiest thing about this entire situation people is the fact that stuart was not a very good swimmer and that is the reason why he chose to go in the pool because they also have pants there you know what i mean so he chose to pool where lifeguard was you understand people there were 72 children there and 10 teachers you understand as also the lifeguard and people listen stuart met into difficulty in one of the pool and was obviously drowning people and it was not until one of his friends discovered that Stuart was not around and started searching for him and saw him in the bottom of the pool people and what his friend did was went into the pool as a young and inexperienced person people remember the lifeguard was there 
You know what I mean? His mother said that the, the lifeguard was a white girl. You get massive people. So his friend went inside the pool and took him out. You know what I mean? And when he was out of the pool, he was alive because they said that he was coughing and trying to, you know what I mean? Trying to get the water out. And the lifeguard, who was a white person, decided that she was not putting her mouth on a black person to perform no CPR. You understand, people? And as a result of that, this young man lost his life in a very sad and tragic way. The young man was not given the life-saving assistant that he needed. You know what I mean, people? A very sad, sad situation. They get massive people, but it is just life. You know, we live and we learn. So Stuart Nelson, a young and talented individual, you know what I mean? who have great potential and was in the process of going towards greatness whilst in the United States lost his life all because another person decided that she was not going to put her mouth on a black boy to save his life very very sad anyway peeps you can leave your opinion in the comment section as also you can like share and subscribe I'm gonna play the recording from his mother so you can hear her account of that situation. Peace. Let me explain something else before I reach to that part. Yeah. When he came when he came here and he was going to pass middle school, they had a recitation contest. Yes. Among the, the state. Okay? Yes. And he won that recitation contest. What he was had two cocks that he got from the church, from the, the school. Uh, something or another for us. And he um, eh? put on in art. Yes. And he won that. And that November, before he died, he was supposed to go for this, this, this state-wide thing in Washington. But he never did get to Washington because he died in June. Yeah. And yes. it was in November he was supposed to go. Yes. He went on an end-of-year trip because they always have an end-of-year trip when a child is going to leave from middle school to high school. Oh, okay. So he went on his end of year trip, and that's where he was drowned in a pool up in Park Hampstead. What do you understand happened to him? Well, I was because I wasn't here when it happened. Yes, I um, I understood you were in Jamaica at a funeral. Yes, my grand my father's mother had died. Um, a young man by the name of Kingsley. Yeah. He told he told me that he said, sister Claire, everybody called me sister Claire, he said, sister Claire, this police lady wanted to talk to you. So I said to the, I said, hello, how are you? I um, I said, King, they said you wanted to talk to me, what happened? And he said, Mr. Lawrence called. I said, my husband called, he said, yes. Mr. Lawrence called and he said, you have to go to the airport and pick up a ticket to come back because to Stuart died. Wow. I said, died? How? And he, he said, we don't know, that, that we don't know how he died, but he said, 
you have to go to Kingston to pick up a ticket to come back to America because he died. <laughs> And that must have been very traumatizing. Oh yes, it did. It did. I just, I just, I believe me, I was in the street of, of Santa Cruz and I just fall to my knees. He was just learning to swim. Okay, yes. And it, it, it was ten teachers and one of the children, 72 children, and 10 teachers was there. And the other children, them, was up because they have different, different, they have pools and they have pond. And some of them was at the pond, but he said he can't, he wouldn't go down there because he don't know how to swim properly. So he stayed up where the, um, where the pool was. And I don't know, nobody can tell me what happened why he was in the in the deep part of the pool. Oh. And his friend came back and said, where is Stuart? You know, and they look around and, him and he, he said he saw him in the bottom of the pool. Wow. And he died in there. Wow. And he took him out. He took him out. Put him out and him, put him on the side of the um, the pool, and the, but the lifeguard was a white girl. Yes. And she said she's not going to put her mouth on no black woman, black person. Oh. So nobody was there to help him because they said he was talking and. But he was coughing, trying to cough. And they, um, they call the ambulance. The ambulance takes 20 minutes to come. Oh. So, that's how that happened. 